achieve balance with a tropical escape from the chaos of the Vegas nightlife. Instead of hitting the slots, hit golf balls at the Luxor Hotel. Instead of going for 21s at the blackjack table, shoot for 21 under. Instead of giving your ID to the bartender, ID ways to improve your game. Why shoot dice when you can shoot the course record? Known as the only championship golf course remaining on the Vegas Strip, this is Bali High Golf Club. Right and good. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ben Haddon Golf. Today we have a very special video from Las Vegas. My first time actually playing golf in Las Vegas. My first time stepping foot in Las Vegas outside of the airport. And we are out here at Bally High Golf Club. And we have with us Terminator <laughs> Golf, Brett Sturban. Sturban, thank you, you for man. coming out. It's really good to finally meet you in person. We've been talking online about this for a little while. Yeah. I'm 6'3", 200, just for the record. I'm not small, Brett's huge. <laughs> uh, we have a very special video format for you today. Brett's a one handicap, I'm a plus five. So for this nine hole match, Brett is going to be starting at three under par. We're gonna play okay. stroke play, and we're right. gonna see if I can't run him down and catch him. Okay. Sound good? Let's do it. All right, let's flip a tee, see who goes first. I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually not gonna be flipping a tee. I'm gonna be flipping this really cool divot tool I just got from Mark Terranova the other day. That is sick. Metal is gonna be first. Okay. Okay, unless it sticks in the ground. All right. Guess of course, first. guess goes first. Let's see it. 340 downwind with driver. I think we're just gonna try and put it in the greenside bunker, right? So I'm just, I'm hitting driver because there's 65 yards up there. I like I just like my chances of putting it on earth near the hole. Yeah. Just a five iron. I'm gonna aim it at that right bunker and just try to drop it right on uh, those cart bunks. Love it. Yeah. Yo. I am. Uh, roll, roll. We're gonna have to chase it and find it, aren't we? High fade off the left edge of the bunker. There you go. Try to land it on top of the flag. Uh, that is really good. Sit. That is really good. Yeah, that'll work. Got a little pitch shot into the green. We will take that. Bali High is a resort golf course. So the rules might be a little generous, but they are the rules. I got 200 yards flag, 185 to fly the bunker, straight down the wind. Just a big nine iron to the middle of the green. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Good distance. Hey, we're putting for birdie. Let's do it. Yesterday was a little bit more idyllic, but I mean, what are you gonna do? Win in Vegas, right? I got a lengthy one here, but I'm just a couple yards off the green, so I'm gonna use the putter. Ah, uh, yes. The old 100 foot lag putt on the first hole. Very uphill. I'm just gonna start at the palm tree, just right of the green, put good speed on it. No way, sit. Wow. I, I surprised myself with that one. I think you surprised all of us with that one. That might All I could really hope for is a little bit of the same. It's gonna drift a little left. This is all pace. A nice comfy par after that tee shot would be fantastic right now. Well, that's a big meaty bone I left myself, huh? 12, 15 feet for par after that tee shot is fine. I know, right? Figured you'd like that. Fun. All right. Okay, well after the tee shot, I think you would have taken bogey. Probably. I would have taken bogey after the tee shot all day. Hole number two out here at Bally High Golf Club. We got a 505 yard par five. If my senses tell me correctly, this is straight downwind. So I'm gonna take a cut off of this bunker to try to get it back into the fairway. Give myself a nice little iron into the green. Or left. I think that's fine over there, right? That is gonna be the definition of today. You miss a little bit and it's gonna be all right, I think. It's a little drift to the right hole, so we'll let the ball drift to the right. That's a C, Brett. And we're back. Dang. Go, Tony. Yeah. 
All right, RJ, let's say it together. Resort style golf course. This was about a 50 yard pull from where I wanted to end up. And I am on a flat lie, sitting up a little bit, wide open look at the flag. 197 yards, I got an eight iron in hand. Just gonna hit a nice little cut off of those palm trees. Try to drop it right on top of the flag, break Brett's heart. That's just not good. I gotta keep my foot on the gas. I don't think Brett's gonna damn me holes when he That's you? Sign all day. So about 145 straight downwind. I'm just gonna take a nice smooth gap wedge here. 130 club, it should fly all the way. There's plenty of wind up there. Oh, Brad. Be great. Be great. Sit there. Good boy. Good boy. You ready for the first excuse of the day? Every flag out here is blue. I thought that was a back flag. Now I just gotta get up and down and pray to God Brad doesn't make this. I'm on the wrong side of resort golf right now. I got it running away from me. Which means this is gonna be a little bit ticklish, but I feel confident in my ability to get this thing up. All right, just gonna fly this thing 15 yards. I know these greens check quite a bit, so I'm not expecting this to run out a ton. Hit this thing close, put a little pressure on Brett to make that putt. Oh, it's gonna check. Well, you see, that's not what you want to do. About eight or 10 feet here for Eagle. It should drift down to the right. The question is, is the wind going to negate the break? Nice uh, turn. That's good. What'd you say? If it's good, make it? Yeah. That's why I, that, that's why I don't uh, like, like it, but I'll take the birdie thing, bro. I think it's gonna break a cup. I just watched Brett's not break a cup, but I'm very confident this one's gonna move. 15 footer, just put a good pace on it. Ah, that's, I gotta say, that is a very, very bad par. That's good, Ben. This is uh, something I'm gonna say quite a bit today, but Dog leg right, par four. Just gonna hit a cut over the bunker. All right, on to the third hole here. 460 yard par four here, number three at Valley High Golf Club. Brett is back to three under, back to his original starting position. I am one under. You got seven holes to play. Brett, if you'll do the honors, I believe you have the box, sir. I do, that birdie gave me the box here on, uh, I shouldn't have looked at the title, Shipwreck. <laughs> uh, it was 280 to the back of yep. that bunker. And with this breeze, I think that's really all we can have here. So we're gonna play it way off the left and just let the breeze eat it up. Got a little more. Keep cutting, bro. Oh, that's Keep perfect. Keep cutting, there's the wind away from the bunker. Oh, that's perfect. I'll take that one. A little, little baby tree, like a million miles away, just over the, just left of that bunker. I'm gonna start it there, hit a little cut, try to put it right where bread is. Down ball. I think that's still fairway. I got 174 <laughs> yards here. Wind pretty much straight off the left. I'm gonna hit a full eight iron. Try to land a pin high, get it to zip right into the golf hole. Look at how clean them grooves are. And it makes little grooves on the ice cube. Resort golf. That thing didn't cut an inch. I got 154 and the wind is dead to the right. This is tough. Probably just gonna knock down a little nine iron. And based on what I just saw Ben do, we're gonna play the slopes off of this thing and just let the ball roll. Playing follow the leader, Ben. Oh, that's gonna be so good. I'm playing follow the leader, let's go. I got a 36-ish footer here. Dead up the hill though. Two putt from here, gain strokes in the field. It's really uphill. Oh my goodness gracious. I was so scared of hitting that like 10 feet by. Looks pretty flat, maybe drifting a little bit right. Just knocking on up there. Go in, go in. Go in, go in, go in, go in, go no in. No way. Let's go. One long putt done. That's tough. That's tough for me. 
All right, now Brett goes to four under. And I got to make this putt to stay at one Whew. under. I'm going to have my work cut out for me today, folks. I pulled it. That's a tough three putt. You hate, you hate to have that kind of exchange. Now I'm four back through three. We're just right back to where the video started pretty much, but one stroke worse and through three holes. On the fourth hole here at Bali High Golf Club, had a 320 yard par four, a little bit of wind off the right, water on the right that I don't want to go into. I'm hitting four iron into the fattest part of this fairway. I'm gonna leave myself a little wedge in, but Brett has the honors. Are you going for the green here? After the tragedy on the first ball, this club is working a whole lot better and I'm comfortable <laughs> with it. So we're just gonna play a big ballooning one off the Mandalay Bay and let it go, you know, 250. Sometimes you avoid the wind, sometimes you just give it a big hug and let it do what it wants to do, right? Love it. Let's go give the wind a big hug. Well, I guess a stinger driver that goes dead straight into the sand. And we're gonna have to go chase it and find it. This wind is feeling a little stronger than I thought. So I'm gonna be taking a three wood here, starting at the MGM actually. Maybe let the wind take it left just a little bit, but mainly just stay left of right. Yeah. I don't know what's over there. 120 yards, I'm just gonna hit a nice solid gap wedge right at it and try to knock one close. It's kind of floated right on me. Well, they gotta hit it up and over something here. I'm gonna guess it's about 85 yards, so we're just gonna hit a lob wedge and see what happens. I don't know, we'll see. There was no room to the right here, so I'm gonna have to take a drop. That sucks. I gotta chip this in for par. Brett's got a birdie putt. It's looking, looking tough for your boy at the moment. Well done, that's good for me. Par? Oh, did you go in the water? Yeah. After that drive and a blind second, 15 feet for birdie right up the hill, it's gonna drift a little bit right. I am now one over, Brett's four under. He's beating me straight up by two shots. That's tough when you're giving him three. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to bring it these last few holes, I think. Number five out here, par four. We got 392 yards to the green here. I'm kind of hitting it everywhere. Start a little low draw four iron just, just left of that right bunker and put something in the fairway. All right, that'll work. A little heavy, but got some big bounces, so I should have a should have a wedge in. That uh, that shot with the plane flying was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. The five iron was a travesty, so we'll try the four iron this time. Draw off the right bunker, right down the middle. Or it'll go right at the bunker. Get a big big bounce. I mean, one ten to a front pin. Chip a sand wedge here, chip the 120 club, try and hit this about 95 to 100 yards. It should be good. Left edge of the green. Stop there. Stop there. I will take that all day. I gotta make birdie here. That's kind of a it's kind of a no-brainer. Slope's gonna feed this thing from left to right a little bit. 102 yard shot. Let's stick one close. That went a lot. That went a lot of yards. That went a lot more yards than I wanted to, which is what's going to happen when your attack angle is like that. When your attack angle is like this, it's going to go a long way. Looks like I hit it just a couple yards past where it would have spun back. Slope kind of starts feeding this way, right here, and I landed here. So now we got about 30 footer for birdie. Hey! 
Okay, I'm gonna play this thing about a foot out. I mean, it's, it's gonna break quite a bit, it looks like. So just foot out to the right, put good speed on this thing, knock it in the hole. Well, I didn't hit it like I needed it. About 18, 20 feet for birdie here. Yeah, it's gonna be about a cup, cup and a half out to the right. Just let it feed. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, man. We got 168 flag, 161 to cover pin high. A little bit of wind down and off the right here. If I had to guess, this thing's probably playing like 158. What do you got, Brett? <laughs> you brought it the could bag. Be any one of them, man. You brought the bag. I mean, I'll just hit my 160 club. Sounds good to me. I need a miracle out of, out of me and a tragedy out of you at this point. Down five with four to play. This is a tough scene. And that was this to, after after a I'll say it shank on the first tee and two down after one. All right, so we got 165 yards. Wind hard off the right. It's going to help this ball. I'm going to aim at that snow-capped mountain with the draw. It's pretty good. Sit on it. Just hang right there. It. Hang right there. Sit on it. Hey, uh, Tony, can you talk about fishing wedge? Yeah. Holy Absolutely. smokes! Resort golf, baby. Resort golf all day. We got pitching wedge in hand, 168, but as you can see, this thing is humming downwind. Low and slow takeaway. That's that's the thought that's gonna save our lives. It's a good swing, Ben. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna bite my sh my club in half. It was a good shot. I need a miracle. Got a 33 footer here, just pretty uphill to start and then pretty flat for the second part. I feel like I got a pretty good idea of the speed. A little bit more break to the left than I thought, but good speed. Good part. Thanks. All right, well, I got about 12 feet here for birdie. Should drift a little bit to the right and it's straight into the wind, so it's gonna be a little slow. Left edge. Woo! It's all right. That's good. Comfy. And you're making it tough for me to come back. The bread is now f still four under for the match. I'm one over, so I'm five back. We're going into number seven. I gotta make something happen. If I birdie out, maybe Brett gets a little nervous. I start putting a little pressure on that bowl. Never know what could happen. Stay tuned. Coming up to number seven here, it's a par five. 550 yards on this hole, a little bit down and off the right. And I, I think just over that bunker is a pretty good line. Uh, that's what we're gonna try. Cool, just paint the cart path. I like the way you said that, paint the cart path. That appears to be perfect. It's a nice big brush stroke right there for you. I don't think that could be any better. That cart path is about two yards wide and your ball never left it. Thank you, sir. I gotta say, I'm 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 glad to see you playing good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he's back. He's back. Two oh five to this flag. I have no idea if it's middle, front, or back. So I just got a and trust it here. Uphill lie, it's gonna be a draw off that right palm tree. Hold there, hold there, hold uh, there. I think you got some room on that side. Hold there. Yeah, should have an eagle putt. Room left. Yeah, room left, that's where I missed, we're good. Wind's pretty much straight off the right here. I'm just gonna try to hit like a draw eight iron. Start it just a little bit right of the flag. I think I gotta go cut seven. Just doesn't feel, no. I don't know. I'm so between clubs here. Yep, it's a draw eight. It's a draw eight. That's drawing for sure. Holding that wind. Oh man. That's uh. It's coming 
That's frustrating. Hey, Resort Golf, here it comes. Wow, that's, <laughs> I, I should not be putting after that golf shot. <laughs> well, this slope right here and this hill in between me and the hole is gonna cause some problems. I'm gonna have to play it off the top of that hill and bounding on down. A little bump and run with the gap wedge here. Try and land it about here. Oh yeah, Brett, there it is. And uh, we'll just take all chili dips out of play here. Okay. And uh, whack it on over the hill. All right. That'll work. Eh. Par putt's a par putt. This putt just became huge. If I make this, this is 60 footer, I'm not probably not gonna make it, but 60 footer, if I make this and he misses, now Brett's only two up to play, so. Let's give this thing a run, shall we? Whoa, you hammered it too. Oh, I, I thought I left it short, actually. <laughs> Good bird. Thank you. Okay. Oh, shoot. So, now we are back to even on the day. About 8 or 10 feet here for par. I got this thing drifting just a touch left. It's going to be right edge putt here. I nuked it too, look at that. Oh boy. I would love to give that to you, Brett, and I think you're gonna make it. Yeah, I remember what we said about those three footers, right? Yeah. That's why we do it, huh? Hey, I'll just give it all back. Just give it all Ooh. back. <laughs> Brett's got two up and two in play. In stroke play, if I make a birdie, he makes another bogey, we're tired. I don't have to explain all that to you, but. This match just became interesting, folks. I was not expecting that from Brett, but you gotta take them where you can get them, I guess. RJ, let me tell you something. <laughs> These two guys are playing a completely different game than me. <laughs> They're playing checkers or chess, and I'm playing go fish. <laughs> playing go fish. Playing go fish. So, guys, um, if you've been following the channel for a while, back when I had my club stolen, Tony basically rebuilt my bag from his. Yeah. From your, well, you got yeah, like a warehouse full of old clubs. No, those are those are the clubs that I was playing with until I ordered some new ones. Yeah, and uh, you just so happened to compliment me so well on the fact that uh, the faces were in pristine condition. The middle of the face. The middle of the face was in pristine condition. <laughs> <laughs> in other words, my strike location was uh, pretty crappy. Tony gave me because I the irons that got stolen were uh, I think they were 718 T100s irons. Yeah, and he just had some laying around. Yeah, so he sent me his old set i had the right shafts put in them and i was able to get back to playing because if i were to order that set from titleist not only would it have been really expensive but it would have been really difficult to get that model because it was from a couple years ago and in the middle of the season you don't want to switch to a new model so tony saved me yeah so I did. shout out to Actually, tony mdlf you saved my life i probably wouldn't be alive right now i, I would agree i would agree you owe me fun sentence to say, but uh, I think I'm going to split the Delano and the Mandalay Bay, try to just hit it right at the tip of the Luxor. What do you say? Does that sound good? This is cool, man. I mean, this golf course, it's a, it's a fun golf course and the views are just, if you like Vegas, <laughs> you're going to like Vegas here. Par four here, number eight, basically dead into the wind, a little bit off the right. I'm just going to hit a cut that gets gobbled up, try to put something in the fairway, cut off the Delano. I mean, that was exactly what I said I was going to do. That doesn't happen very often. Take a picture, take a screenshot, like the video, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss future shots like that, hopefully. Welcome to my golf game. Short game's atrocious. Long game's where I got it, so bombs away. <laughs> nice miss, Brett. That was off of... Uh, the bottom of the club face. But uh, hey, it's down the middle. 199 yards in here, pretty much dead into the wind, a little bit off the right, but mostly it too. I'm just gonna hit like kind of a smooth low six iron. Yeah, start at the tip of the Luxor, draw it back in towards the flag. If I stick one close here, this match becomes very interesting. Keep drawing. Go a 
yard. Oh! I caught that just a centimeter heavy, and if I think I caught it like closer to perfect, that would have been nice. I got 177 yards, that front pin. Wind hard off the right. I'm gonna play this like 200 yards, low draw. Got a 39 footer here for birdie, I believe, to put a little pressure on Brett. This is no gimme. This is no gimme for Brett here. I need to, I do need to make this so I'm two down with two to play. This feels like a must make, although I don't want to give up a bogey, you know what I'm saying? Number one handicap hole, dead into the wind. We'll take a par, but might not be good enough. All right, a little downhill feeder right to left here. This is all speed, just wanna die in the hole. Like you said, number one handicap hole, take the par and run. yards here. I think it's playing like 195. I'm just going to hit basically the same shot I hit on the last hole. The wind's pretty much dead off the left. Started at that uh, the big old crane in the background. Draw it in towards the flag. Don't tell Brett I said this, but I think, I think if I make birdie here, Brett's in trouble. If he hits on the green, I'm in trouble. Go a little. Go a little. Thank you. I'm gonna use your tee. I want some juju. <laughs> we just gotta play a little knockdown shot here right off the top of the clubhouse. Yeah, I'm in trouble, Ben. Where did I go? That's the uh, over the top, dead left, man. It almost, it's like, you know, it sucks to hit one in the water, for sure. I mean, it was left. But when you get a new ball out of it, it kind of softens the blow, you know? Yeah. I'm thinking, I mean, we're doing a video for Brett's channel after this. I'm thinking that, I'm thinking he might want to rematch. Possibly. If I lose, I'm definitely going to want to rematch. Well, that was unfortunate. Just a simple little down and up. That's pretty I'm good. Little... I'm going to have you throw a mark on that, sir. I got this about a foot out to the left. This thing's got to move quite a bit. About a 15-ish footer, maybe 16 feet. Put a good roll on this. Let's knock this thing in the cup, RJ. Come on now. Oh, that broke just so much. Ah, oh, man. Good all part. Right. Knock it in for the win, Brett. Come on now. All right, all right. Let's see. I mean, if you got down low and saw this thing, this thing is wicked, man. I mean, for a for a four and a half footer, that this That's thing's got all some... you want in a four and a half footer when you're borderline probably aiming outside the hole. You are definitely aiming outside the hole. Oh, yeah. Actually, no, don't aim outside the hole. Back of the cup, right? Back of the cup. Back of the cup. <laughs> oh. Right across the face. Right all right, across that's the good. Face. Well, folks, that's going to do it for the nine-hole match with the one handicap Terminator Golf. Thank you guys so much for tuning in from Valley High Golf Club here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Like, subscribe, make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss future videos, and head over to Terminator Golf's channel. I'm going to link it in the description. We're going to have a, we're going to run it back. I don't even know if we were planning on doing that to begin with. I don't think so. After a tie, I think you absolutely have to run it back. So head over to Terminator Golf, see the second part of this match. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Deuces. See you.